hello and welcome to my unboxing video I have all these packages that I'm so excited to tear open and share with you so let's get started we'll start with the smallest package I found both of these books on Amazon for a very good price and as far as I'm concerned I don't need new books especially if the inside of the book is intact and I can still read the story and see the illustrations. The next package comes from Canada and it's a purchase from Billaboo's Closet CA and it's honestly one of my favorite shops on Etsy or at least my favorite shops I've discovered so far. I'm sure there's many more out there I haven't discovered and honestly my pocketbook does not want to discover any more wonderful Etsy shops because <laughs> that is my downfall is shopping on Etsy. Okay, let's open this package. Oh boy, I remember seeing these on the website and in person without even taking them out of the bag. They are so cute. She wraps them in this seal -a mail type of packet protects it from any moisture, rain, anything. So if the male person leaves the package out in the rain, you don't have to worry. It will be protected. Look at this sweater. It is beautiful. I'm not exaggerating. The detail, let's zoom in on this. You really need to see it. Look at the detail and these little wood buttons. I, I can't even imagine making something like this in my wildest dreams. I appreciate people who can knit, crochet, uh, make doll clothes, and, and with such great quality. I'm like stuttering over here. Sorry about that, but I absolutely love this sweater. The details are just so astonishing to me. I can't even imagine how somebody could do something like this. And now I have it as part of my collection. And by the way, don't worry because the items that I'm going to show you in the packages that I'm taking out, the clothing and maybe even whatever else I ordered that I forgot about it by this point in time because these packages came in December of last year, which was December of 2023. And I don't even remember what was in the boxes, but I'll figure it out as I start to go through the video footage that I filmed a while back and I'm just now getting around to editing. Now let's look at the next item. This is a cute little coat or jacket, whatever you want to call it. Excuse me with the picking of the lint off the jacket. I'm just such a I guess pain in the neck when it comes to little lint balls. I have lint rollers all over the place. But anyway, back to the jacket. Look at the sleeves. This is like a little cuff and it's added onto the edges with finished seams. Look at the pattern, how it's lined up so well in the back. She does such a good job. You could see it's attached on both sides and it looks pretty much the same. So you don't have any miss, mix matched fabric. So it's pretty symmetrical. I'm not exactly sure what the fabric is, but it feels like a flannel, a heavy flannel fabric. And you can see the seams were finished, which I just showed you. The hood is lined with like a soft, silky type of fabric. There's Velcro under the buttons. Look at these cute little pockets and they're functional. Your doll could put things in the pockets. So I would say all in all, this was a great purchase and I can't wait to put it on my doll and show it to you at the end of the video. The last item in my package is this super cute camouflage jacket. The sleeves are a knit jersey along with the hood and the, the camouflage pattern section of the jacket feels like a fatigue fabric. and. I can say that because I was in the military and I remember especially the light uh, warm weather uniforms had the same feel to it so I wonder if it's an actual military fabric. I also have these US Army 
embroidered patches you could see it here on my doll and the person that made it for me gifted me about 10 of them and I'm so appreciative of that so what I'm going to do is take one of those patches that I have an extra and put it on this jacket so I'm really looking forward to doing that and I will show you that at the end of the video to recap we got this jacket sweater and another jacket all from Bella Boo's closet the next thing we're going to open is this box this was a Christmas gift from my very good friend look at what I got the American Girl doll cookout set it's actually called the birthday cookout set it was released in 1996 and retired in 1998 it was $28 when it was released the first item we're going to look at is the cake. It comes in a really cute box. The pan is metal and it says Pleasant Company made in Taiwan. This is a really solid piece and it has some weight to it. The sticker on the cake says made in China, especially for Pleasant Company. It comes with a candle and there's a little indentation here to stick the candle in. And there you go. Very cute. Now let's move on to the next item. Now we have these two bags and the front of the package says low fat tortilla chips with sunflower seeds. And the back of the package is very detailed. Take a look at this. Feels like there's just air inside these bags. I don't feel anything in there. Now we have the ketchup and mustard containers and the tops flip open. How cool is that? Next we have these cute watermelon slices. They're very soft and they are they look so realistic to me. Wouldn't you think so? Look at the seeds. Now let's take a look at our burgers and our buns. Look how soft they are. They're not hard the way they make them today. They're so flexible. They're textured and then we have our patties with actual grill lines on them. Look at that on both both of them. How cool. And we have some mustard and ketchup. And then we have some lettuce with pickles. And what's really cool is that the top of the bun here has an indentation for the pickles. And look at the little sesame seeds on the bun. <laughs> These are so flippin' cute. I love them. I might even take my dolls outside and have a barbecue today. Now let's open the next item. Here we have the colorful tumblers. Look at these. They're really durable. Very strong plastic. So cute. It says Pleasant Company on the bottom, made in China. Now let's open the next package. We have plates to go with our set. Let's see, we have a yellow one, a pink one, blue one, and a teal color. So everything pretty much matches our cups. So we have the four cups and four plates. Perfect. Moving on to the next wrapped item in this set. Oh my, look at this. Look at the cute metal pitcher. Oof. This is really nice. Cloth napkins with a Girl of Today logo. Look at how colorful. They match the plates and the cups. The tag says Made in China, Pleasant Company, 1996. Let's take a look at the plastic wear and the little straws, the bendy straws. So we have four spoons. And they're very cute. They match everything else and four forks. Although I have to say these are pretty oversized as far as the dolls are concerned. And look at these darling straws. <laughs> they're so cute. 
Oh my goodness. This is an adorable set. If you have a chance of getting this, I would definitely get it. Now they're different, the straws are different colors than the cup, so you can mix and match and put the color that you like with the cup. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they're so cute. Now let's put everything together and separate our plates first. So let's take them all apart and put our food on our plates. So we have a burger for one person, a burger for another person. Let's see what else. Some watermelon. Hmm. Chips, I guess, would go nicely with the burgers. And they need a drink. Let's see how we're going to mix these colors up. Sorry, I'm trying to get everything on the underneath and the camera here. It seems like I keep going off camera. And there are the plates. Okay, now you can see everything. Oh, I guess it's not to my standard. So let me move everything around a little bit more. Okay, am I driving you crazy? Yeah, I'm driving myself crazy. Just seeing what I'm doing here. <laughs> I can only imagine me in the doll room when I'm fixing my stuff. <laughs> I am constantly tinkering with things. So now each doll will get a napkin and let's give them some silverware too. I don't know why we need a spoon and a fork with watermelon, but they're getting it anyway. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I guess I'm going to have to use some of my other doll food when I create a scene with these items. That looks like a sad plate with just a piece of watermelon. Oh, God. Now let's open this box. This is something I just got yesterday that I purchased off of eBay. And I have looked at this for so long that I was looking for a particular one. There are several out there on eBay that you can find, but this one is really special. Wait till you see it. Look at this. The box isn't even filled to I it was it was shaking when I see I don't like that, especially if it's something not that it's gonna break, but it was expensive. Oh, that's the first thing I'll say. And this is just to sh for show. It, it doesn't do anything. These, whatever the hell these things are called. So that annoys me. And maybe just put a piece of bubble wrap around this to secure it from making all this noise with some tape. That's just me. I find this annoying. And I guess here's the garbage. Or maybe it's a note. Let's see. Laney Green Garden Set. Okay. Well, it's definitely not Laney's Green Garden Set. And it's 2022 income from eBay stores. Okay. Definitely a piece of garbage. Don't throw your garbage in boxes if you're mailing stuff to people. That's just my thought. Oh. Well, here we go. Thank you for shopping Lisa's Closet. Okay, that's pretty nice. A little personalized label. Well, Lisa should definitely wrap her stuff up in bubble wrap. I could have gave her some from my last package. There was, there was so much bubble wrap in that package that that person was very cognizant of making sure things were wrapped securely. And I could tell you that that set costs less than this. Now, if you're a collector, which I don't know I would consider myself a collector, I would say I collect certain collection, certain doll items or collections. So this is Felicity's Chocolate Pot. I have the other parts of this collection that I bought in a sale in one of the Facebook groups. And I've been looking for a particular one, and I came across this one on eBay. And I negotiated the price with the seller, and here it is in my house. I need to polish it up so 
I'm going to do that. And there's somebody else in one of the Facebook groups that offered a suggestion on how to polish this this up. Well, of course we know how. you got to rub it. But what product to use to polish it up, which I have. So I'm going to do that, and I'm probably going to start from somewhere on the item on the bottom and see how it turns out before I hit the sides. So anyway, this is really heavy. I have to weigh it. Hold on one second. Okay. I have a scale here. Let's see. I'm just curious because it is pretty heavy. Wow. Eight ounces. What is the box size? I'm just curious about that too. 11 ounces. So it's eight ounces by itself. That's pretty heavy. So what I'm going to tell you is on the bottom of the pot, it says International Silver Company. You see this? This is a first edition. And if you're looking for first edition, this is what you need to look for. I'm going to polish this up and put it with the rest of all my uh, pieces that go to this set and show it to you because I have to say it myself, my set is pretty nice. What do you think of this? Isn't it fabulous? God. I feel so special now that I have this and I completed that set. It only took me two years, but hey. That's a collector's life. Now this last package comes from a very, very special person who I met through the one of the Dolly groups. And she uh, sent me all this stuff because she knows I love horses. I think you all know that. If you've been here for a while, you know that, or you should based on some of my comments and videos and I created a, a room in my dollhouse that's a barn it's certainly small it's not big enough for some of the things I want to do and I'm re um, considering a, another setup for the barn in anticipation of that and another friend giving me all these horses the other day can you this is the text message that she sent me they're all in pretty good shape. They just need a little cleaning up. She clearly has enough horses. And the best is, she says, I'm horses out. <laughs> Can you imagine just someone gifting you all these horses? <laughs> it's incredible. I'm going to clean them up and do a video on how I do that as well. So if you're interested and you want to see how I fix their hair and clean them up a bit, um, sort of fix some of the, the, the markings on them. Um, subscribe to my channel because you won't want to miss that because these horses are always played with. Children love the horses. They play with them and they comb the hell out of their hair. And I have never found one on the um, secondhand market that had perfect hair. I've always had to fix it. So I already have some horses and now I have these three and I'm going to fix them all up with you in a separate video. So everything in this box is horse related. It will be uh, put in the barn. I'm going to explain everything. Hopefully my daughter will help me because she is the horse girl really technically in the family and, um, and make a cameo appearance and show you how to use some of this stuff. But in this box, forget it. Let me just open it up. I'm, I'm rambling here. Okay. So I'm going to take things out one at a time and get the box out of the way because this box is big and it's taking up all my space. So the first item, very important, 
the shavings. And these are little mini shavings for the horse stalls. I actually have some real shavings in the stalls, but they're big. They're, they're, I took them out of my horse's stall. But look at these little guys. Look at that. Huh? That's perfect. I, I, I know you can tell this stuff excites the hell out of me. <laughs> Wait for this. Ready? This. This is horse poop. Well, not really. Wait, I gotta, I gotta zoom in. <laughs> oh, Sandy, this is so cute. These are Cocoa Pop cereal, I think. Hold on. Yes, or some type of chocolate puff cereal. But it looks like horse poop. And especially if you take a few of them. <laughs> You're a genius, Sandy. <laughs> oh. Sandy is, is, is the person I'm talking to with you who sent me this package and all these items. So look at this. So if you put them together, it does look like horse poop. So these, these are a great prop and I can't wait to put them in the stall. So we have our shavings and horse poop. Oh, this is great. Now, this is not doll related, but this is perfect for Valentine's Day for one of my horses. Look at, look at this. Oh my God. This is a rope halter. So, just so you know. So, it just goes on the horse. First of all, it's very well made, and I'm not going to get into all the details of that because you're here for an unboxing, not a lesson in how these are made, but we, I will talk about them a lot more in the video of my barn and explain to you how to put uh, a halter on your horse for your doll. The next thing is we have bridles here. There's actually two of these. So these are for the horses, bridles and reins and a lead rope. Wow, we have a lot of things going on here. This is amazing. Wait till you see this on the horses. Just wait. Look at this one. The detail. You see this? I'm going to leave a link to Sandy's website so that you can check it out and see all these um, all the amazing tack that she makes for horses look at this rope i mean can you just i'm i'm in amazement i really am this is such talent this beats the hell out of the plastic stuff that you get for our generation which my barn is filled up with and now it's going to have better quality items and then I also have a, a set that came with one of the American Girl dolls years ago, and it's disintegrated. I have to find it and take it out, and I'm going to show it to you. I don't know if it's going to be in this video or the barn video, because I have to figure out where I stuck it. But the whole thing, I had to peel it off the horse. It disintegrated. But the quality here is incredible. So we'll talk more about these eventually. So here we have some rope halters with leads. Now look at this. So when we talk about leads, it's a lead rope. So you're usually holding the rope and leading your horse. So that's the reason why we call it a lead. And then more halters. Oh my goodness. And these are adjustable, and I'm, I'm, that's something that I'll show you in the video. But we have so many colors. Oh, <laughs> this is going to take our barn to another level. It, it's going to look so good with these halters and lead ropes. And look, we can even do matchy-matchy. Oh, God. When I put this on my real horse... I'm going to take an American Girl Doll horse and put this on the American Girl Doll horse. Now, I have to do it when my daughter's not around because she's 17 and she'll be so embarrassed um, if she sees me doing it. So, I know I probably shouldn't care, but I try to be a little sensitive to that. So, this is... I, I'm, I am... I feel so special. So special. Having all of 
these items from Talented Sandy. Now these are bridles with rope. So these are like rope reins. So basically you put this on the horse like this. And then this is what, what the doll will hold on to and ride the horse. And this is what will determine where the horse is going to go. Using the reins is really important because if you can imagine most horses, when they have a halter on, they have a bit in their mouth typically, or at least my horses do. And the bit is attached to the side here and it goes in their mouth. And if you're, if you have the reins, you're pulling on this and imagine having something in your mouth and somebody pulling on it. And that's how you communicate and, and instruct the horse on where to go and how to do things. Now you don't always need a bit either. Uh, there was, we could be here all day talking about this, but anyway, for my horses, they have bits in their mouth, both of them when, when we ride them. And then this is what's used to guide them and, and show them what to do along with your legs and, and your posture and how you're sitting on a horse. There's, there's all these signals that the horse gets from you. And if any of you are on, that's watching the video, uh, have horses, rode horses, uh, know about horses, comment below because I'm really interested to get a sense of the horse audience here. So horses are important to me and I could do a lot more content around horses if you're interested in that. Well, not a lesson on riding horses, but just horses in general, horses and dolly themes and other things. So anyway, I know I said a lot, so we're going to put all of these back in the bag because you're going to see these again, but I'm, I'm so happy to have all of this tack. Yes, it's called tack for our horses. And if you go to a barn, you usually will hear people talk about the tack room and that's where you keep all your horse related stuff. And then... Sandy made these little racks for me because I need, right now I'm using uh, thumbtacks to hang up stuff in my barn, but these little racks, look at this. You see these nails here? These are the nails that are used to put the horse's shoes on. So the farrier will use nails like this when they hammer in the shoes on the bottom of your horse's foot. How cool is that? And the wood, I believe she said is cherry wood, and I'm sorry if I forgot, but she told me that somewhere in a message and I'm not gonna stop the video to look it up, but I think that's what it is. But this is amazing, and how smart was she to cover the sharp area with glue? And then all I have to do is because I have these two sharp pieces, is hammer this in gently into the side of my barn. And this is another one. I'm not going to open it because it's got sharp edges and I'd have to wrap it back up. So that's that. And also, even though I'm leaving you a link if you want to check out her products, here is a really well-made flyer that she has with real horses. So she's done an amazing job taking the, um, the, the halters and all the other tack that she makes and converting it into dolly size. So this is her website, Not Just Rope. And she has a catalog and everything online. And this is her business card. So anyway, Sandy, if you're watching, thank you so much. I am so grateful for all these items to set up the perfect barn. 
And that concludes the small box opening for my video. Now let me go in a different room in my house and open the really large box I showed you because that box, it's too big to fit in my small craft area space here on my table. So I'm gonna open it up and bring the pieces here. So I'll be right back. So the other box, included these two very large pieces and I'm going to open them up with you. I bought this from someone in one of the Facebook groups. I've been looking for it for a while now. This is going to go perfect in my garden setup. Oh my goodness. I did such a great job wrapping it. So this is Samantha's, it's her Be Forever set. Look at the cushion, how nice is that? This is very heavy. The seller, who I know and I've bought from before, I bought some really unique pieces from her before, um, was so kind and sold this to me at the price that she paid, plus shipping. And that is, that's just, that just makes me feel so good. I Being in these Facebook groups and making Dolly friends who are so kind, is, it just warms my heart because you could tell that people really care and, and people are not here to rip you off or anything. So this is the other piece. Look at this. So just to recap, I opened up two books from Addie's series, a package from Bella Baloo's Closet, um, American Girl Pleasant Company birthday cookout set, which was a Christmas gift, so I know I'm way behind here. I have tons more packages to open. Uh, Felicity's Chocolate Pot, a gift from Sandy, and then Samantha's Outdoor Serving Set. So those are all the things that I opened. I'm going to put the clothing items on my dolls and I'll be back, so stay tuned. Here is Reba wearing the super cute jacket. Isn't it appropriate for the barn? I really like this jacket. Here's a few more pictures. This is one without the hood. And here's a side view. Here's the last picture of her holding a halter. Now we have Abel modeling the camouflage jacket and I added the small US Army insignia, I guess you call it, on the jacket. 
I think he looks so adorable. Look at that face hanging out in the barn. Mr. Cool Dude. <laughs> uh, now here's this beautiful sweater. Look at this outfit. Do you like what I put together? This sweater is absolutely gorgeous and it can go with so many different outfits. I love it with the ripped jeans and the cute little animal print shoes. Let me know what you think about everything that I unbox. Drop a comment below and share your thoughts with me. I'd love to hear from you. I know I shared a lot in this video, so I just want to take a minute here to recap future videos. An unboxing of the grill that goes to the birthday cookout set. I'm going to do polishing and comparison of Felicity's chocolate pot, the first and second editions. I'm going to restore three horses. I'm going to do a realistic barn setup and tour, and I'm going to unbox the Our Generation Greenhouse and pair it up with Samantha's outdoor serving set. So that's all future videos to come. Here's a thumbnail from a recent video that I did, and I'm going to include a link to that video down below, a link to this video down below, because this video comes after the unboxing, a link to Julie's apartment, because I think you'll really enjoy that. This video gets a lot of views, and also this very funny American Girl Doll Sing and Talk video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a subscriber, thanks so much for coming back again and watching my video. If you haven't subscribed, I sure hope that this video convinced you to subscribe. Press the notification bell so that you get an alert when I post new videos. I hope you like this video, and if you do, you give it a thumbs up. And come back again and watch some more of my videos. Until next time, take care of yourself, and remember, AGTV for life.